Yeah, when I got diagnosed, it just it just kind of hit me out of left field because it's like, who gets cancer when they're in their 20s? Well, come to find out, there's a lot of people actually. Everyone was pushing rest, 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 don't work yourself too hard. You need to let your body recover. It's undergoing a lot right now. And you know, you don't want to hear that when you're 26 years old. You want to go out and have fun and socialize with your friends. And I was in college for the entire duration of my, my chemo. I was really fortunate that with the job I had at the time, that they were very understanding of what I was going through. They knew I might have to take some time off. I mean, I did have to give some stuff up. But I, I love playing hockey. Uh, it's just one of the things I've always been interested in. I've been playing since I was 13 years old, and my doctor said, you are not allowed to play hockey. It starts hitting you how delicately you have to really live at that point. Chemotherapy can make you infertile. When I was first told that I had to uh, start chemo treatment, I wasn't really given a lot of time to really think about fertility options and um, just kind of sitting here with my fingers crossed and hoping that uh, fertility-wise I'll, I'll be okay in the future. A lot of women actually go into early menopause. So if you're a guy, go bang sperm if you ever want to have children. And if you're a woman, if you're, if possible, get eggs harvested. There are a ton of resources out there that you can uh, that you can use and are at your disposal. I've met so many people through the, like the power of social networking and modern technology. I mean, if it hadn't been for that, if if I had had it in a different different decade, that I would be so alone in my experience. I was introduced to this organization at the time called I2I, I'm too young for this, but is now uh, commonly known as Stupid Cancer. And uh, it's a way of getting uh, a lot of resources uh, uh, all pulled together for how young adults can cope and how young adults can, can get through it. We're in kind of a, a limbo because we're not, uh, we don't fall under pediatric oncology necessarily and we don't fall under adult oncology all the time. There is a very large young adult cancer population and the, the community needs to realize that there's a lot of different needs. Just try to reach out and get in touch with those resources and use them to your advantage for getting through it.